Hi! I'm not entirely sure if people can hear outside my door. I'm talking quite low. You might not even be able to hear what I'm saying. Especially not since I'm ill. Yeah, and that's why I'm kind of like a demon. Can we just pretend like this is some kind of Halloween theme I'm going for here? Let me kind of drenching myself in tea today. <laughs> More than normally. So what I'm going to do right now, answer the questions that I got from Stacey a few months ago. I'm sorry. I kind of, yeah. It's just been really hard to find the time to film and shit. And I'm also, like, disclaimer, I'm just going to say that two of these things I'm not going to do today because they're, like, best. But I'm going to do them on camera eventually, but just not right now. Because, first of all, it's really hard to find enough vegetarian mas marshmallows <laughs> to like do the shabby, shabby bunny challenge. And also I figured that both of these two deaths would be way funnier to do with other people, so I'm probably going to try and do that. Also, thank you Stacey for answering all of my questions very nicely. Great. Now let's just get started. Okay. Question number one. What made you start a YouTube channel? The reason why I started a YouTube channel is just because I think it's really fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it when I'm ill, because my voice sounds really, really like grumpy and monotone. Sorry. So like the reason why I started this YouTube channel is just because I love watching other people doing things on YouTube. And I was like, I kind of want to try that. And I kind of had like a YouTube thing like mm, one or two years ago. Um, yeah, two years ago now where I uploaded like a few videos it was even worse back then <laughs> even worse yeah. number two do your parents know that you're a youtuber I wouldn't first of all I wouldn't call myself a youtuber because youtubers um, at least according to me are the people who like work with YouTube like it's they work they have a lot of subscribers and they are able to make a living out of YouTube so I wouldn't really call myself a youtuber but the reason what was the question? <laughs> Maybe I could make a video about that some other time. They kind of know, I think, that I have a YouTube channel right now. They can probably hear me through the wall, so if they didn't know before, now they don't. <laughs> but I kind of told them, like my little brother told them, because he knows, like half a year ago. But I don't really think they followed up on it, so I don't think they've seen any of this. Yeah, I mean, it's not that weird. It would be too weird for them to watch it, but kind of don't want them to. <laughs> Question number three. This is this is three. Kind of spacing out a bit because I'm ill. I just want like a teapot. Oh, tea. I used to have this tiny mug since I kind of craft. <laughs> uh, I dropped my biggest mug, tea mug, in uh, on the floor. Yeah, that was also like a birthday gift from Claudia. Sorry, Claudia, if you didn't know this already. Mm. Let's move on. Question number three. If you could collab with two people from YouTube, who would it be? I'm just going to say, like this, Dan and Phil. <laughs> um, is anyone surprised? If you if you know me, then you probably know that I kind of obsess. I try not to be too creepy or too weird and not over shit and things like that. Because I know that it'd be really annoying if people like did that to like to me. We can talk about that respect and thing in another video. Let's just do this now. So Dan and Phil, I'd probably collab with them, but I'd look so tiny because like because they're like giants. I I've never met them in real life, but I know that they're really tall, like six foot nine or something. Giants. <laughs> so I'd look really tiny with them, that, but that'd be fun. Oh, question number four. Chocolate or vanilla chocolate on in everything. It doesn't even matter. Oh, maybe no, no chocolate. Always chocolate. Maybe maybe like Showerel then vanilla, but chocolate. Question number five. Uh, what was your first kiss? Uh, non-existent. Question number six. Who is your favorite YouTuber? <laughs> and I know they're two people. Let me just. I would call this cheeky promo, but uh, I'm honestly just doing my duty as a fangirl, so <laughs> I kind of enjoy all YouTubers who are who I feel are kind of like unique or like creative and original, so 
for example, Nanaville, and also like Kick to PJ because he's this he's so creative and original, and just so good at filmmaking at, and sets and everything, and yeah, and then also like Connor Francia and people. I also watched some made you look by likes she's so awesome <laughs> it's really cool to see her do all if you don't know who she is she uh, does like face paintings and yeah, makeup but right like really cool makeup and like special effects makeup and that's what come down there numbers wait number seven what? instagram twitter or tumblr tumblr even though I use all three of them, probably Tumblr, Tumblr, Tumblr. But it's on Instagram where I post most things myself out of these three. Number eight, coffee or tea. <laughs> Number nine, do the ice bucket challenge. This was one of the things I talked about that I'm not going to do right now today. I tried, I've actually filmed this. I'm just going to tell you this right now. I've actually filmed this video once before. And then I tried to do, attempted to do the ice bucket challenge. I was sitting on my floor because it was like really hard lighting from another, from my window over there. Like you can see right now that there's like a patch of light right here. Yeah, it was like that, but all over me. So I had to, so all over my bed. So I had to sit on my floor first thing, and the background was my wardrobe. Attempted to do it with not enough ice, and then I had my head upside down. So when I poured the water on me, I didn't get anything in my face or on my body, I just got it. Like I had my head like this, so I just got it like in my hair. And that was, and um, it was also really dark. So this I'm probably going to try and do with an assistant of some kind. <laughs> Number 10, describe yourself in three emojis. This was hard, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you this. This was the hardest, que hardest question out of all of them. I thought about this for a while because there are so many emojis and I kind of feel like there are five emojis that I want to pick because but I'm going to say three so um can't I can't even read my own handwriting like look at this shit look at this shit <laughs> look at this it's like yeah I can't even read myself funny hell and I write like all of my notes like this it's kind of hot sometimes Sometimes my essays, sorry teachers. I'm not going to really explain these because I'm not entirely sure why I think these represent me. The three emojis I would use to describe myself are probably the turtle, which I use a lot. I use the turtle all the time. The turtle, um, the plasma ball, you know, the purple ball, plasma, yeah. And the headphones. Yeah. I also kind of feel like the rainbow and the like teacup represent me, <laughs> are kind of me. Number 11, which I can't even do in my fingers. Number 11. Talk about yourself and you- I'm just reading this off Okay, wait. Talk about yourself and your interests with your mouth full of marshmallows. This is another thing that I'm going to do later. Because <laughs> uh, right now, it's kind of hard to get, get a hold on like vegetarian mash marshmallows. If you didn't already know, I'm a vegetarian. And almost all marshmallows contain gelatin, which is taken from either pigs or cows. So, mm, yeah, don't really appreciate that very much. Normally, this isn't a problem because there are like a few kind of expensive brands that sell marshmallows. And I mean, marshmallows really, they don't really taste that much. So, it's not often I crave marshmallows. Oh, I want this sweet fluffiness in my mouth that doesn't taste anything at all mmm so mm, delicious if i get a hold on a lot of vegetarian marshmallows i'm probably going to do this but that's all for right now and i kind of hope you heard me through all of this and also i want to show you my earrings which i made yeah they look kind of like plugs especially when i do like this <laughs> which I think is great. I mean, it's really annoying when you're wearing headphones um, Because it hurts. I have to take off them off every time I wear headphones I kind of like that it looked like plugs because I kind of want to stretch out my ears when I get older And I'm just going to put on a picture of what my desk looked like right now because I made these yesterday Okay Yeah, you see it's glitter everywhere. I have so much glitter and I always end up getting glitter and stuff everywhere. That's- <coughs> Oh god, Jesus. I thought my voice would hold through all of this. That's all for now. Now, um, 
check, uh, sorry, Stacey again. Yeah, look forward to me doing the ice bucket challenge sometime in the future. If that's the kind of thing you're into, subscribe to Stacey. I'm going to put a link to her channel right here, I think. Yeah. Bye, the amazing book is not on fire. Bye. Bye.